this Sony Vaio PCG7131 DL have a problem. It have overheating issue. The hard drive got some corrupted clusters, and the fan when we power in the laptop on constantly making the noise. That's why this unit have to be disassembled. Cleaned, the heat sinks have to be cleaned from dust. The new thermal compound have to be applied. And, in my opinion, it's very reasonable to order the new cooling fans and reinstall them on the heat sinks. Let's proceed and disassemble this Sony Vaio 7131 DL laptop. Flip the laptop upside down, remove the battery, put the battery away. HDD model was already removed because hard drive got some corrupted clusters and the new hard drive will be installed in this laptop. The next of your way, uh, using the Philips screwdriver, remove this Philips bolt counterclockwise. From here you can see two RAM models, you can remove them as well if you will be doing any RAM upgrades. Currently system have 4 GB of installed, of installed memory. It's two models, 2 plus 2, which is equals 4. Put them away. The next on your way is removal of this bolt, which is located right here. It's a Philips bolt. When you will remove him, you will be able to disengage DVD-ROM from your laptop. Actually, it's two bolts that have to be extracted. Those two. Here and here, as soon as you remove them, you can remove DVD-ROM. I recommend to use those zip locks, just position. Not position, you just place the DVD ROM inside and put two bolts in the same zip lock. So you're not gonna lose them and everything will be intact. Since right now we will be dealing with removal of those streams and the keyboard, I will first of all recommend to completely remove all screws that you see in the back, all of them, all of those, those, just remove all screws from the bottom on this Sony wire and then proceed to the next step of popping off the keyboard and the trims from top. When you remove the bolts from the back from this wire, this is what you will get. You will get All of those bolts are the same length, as you can see. This one are different, and those two are small. Those two which are small, located here and here, and those two which are kind of large size, holding the hinges on place for LCD. One of them is right here, and the second is right there. The rest of the screws, those, are the same length and they are located all the way in the bottom of this Sony wire. When all of them are removed, flip the laptop upside down and pop up the trims which are holding the keyboard on place. I recommend to remove this SD card sl sleeve, put it somewhere away and then start popping off the stream. 
The next step, which I will recommend to do, you need to remove the keyboard. On this particular model of the laptop, you don't need to pop up this stream because it's integrated into upper cover. That's why I will recommend to use such type of plastic clips. No, not clips. Such type of special plastic tool, which is very, very handy for iPhone. You just position them like this and pop up the keyboard out. When the keyboard is popped off, disconnect this cable. If this one with those, it will be very, very hard to remove it. That's why you can help a little bit with this mini flat screwdriver to pop off the, the keyboard. As soon as you pop it off, disconnect the cable which mounts it to the motherboard. This one. Not mounts, which connects the keyboard to the motherboard. First of all, you have to remove the sticker. And when the sticker is removed, use small screwdriver to disconnect the cable. I use this one with this very, very small tip. Just do like this, not up, not like that, like this. And you will be able to remove the keyboard. Put the keyboard away. As you can see, even here, we see some signs of dust, even on keyboard. And the heatsink itself is very, very dusty. That's why, since of, because of excessive temperatures, all oil which is lubricating the fan is gone. That's why we will need to order the new fan to stop this noise, which bothers so, uh, th that much. And from this perspective, we need to disconnect all of those small cables because we need to disengage the upper cover from the lower cover. Use a very, very small flat screwdriver, the smallest as you have. This one goes up. Be, be very careful because all of them are very fragile and you don't want to break nothing. Up and this cable is removed. Uh, this one goes up as well. Just like that. Help a little bit with a screwdriver. Actually there is a special glue sticker right here that you need to use. This cable is responsible for the touchpad. This one is for those buttons. And disconnect this one from here. Looks like it's backlight for LCD screen. This one as well. LVSD cable and slide him through actually this one yeah LVSD cable this one slide him through just like this so you will be able to disengage the lower cover from the upper cover be extremely careful with LVSD cable because they are handmade In this model of uh, Sony Bio laptop, not the upper cover disengages from the lower cover. The lower cover disengages from the upper, from the upper. So just remove it from the bottom, just like that, and put it away. And just to show you how much dust is here. Since we will be dealing with this is how it looks. Since we will be dealing with replacement and cleaning of the replacement of the fan and cleaning heat sinks from dust, position the laptop upside down. Using the Philips screwdriver, remove all mounting bolts which are attaching the heat sink to the motherboard. Four bolts, one, two, three, four from here and bolt number 5 located right there. Remove him as well.
and disconnect fan electrical connector from here. The heatsink kind of melted to the CPU because thermal compound became uh, very dry. That's why just take your time, very very carefully uh, remove it without being damaging the CPU. And also I noticed one more bolt, bolt number six, which is located right here. I remove him as well. So total amount of bolts is six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then remove the heat sink out. As you can see, the thermal compound is completely dry. That's why I forgot also to remove this bolt, but not only because of this bolt, also thermal compound was very, very dry as well. That's why you heard such type of noise, like because it was hard to separate the CPU and the heatsink. This laptop using um, this laptop uh, inside of the heatsink using this Panasonic fan and it definitely need a replacement all serials number serial numbers are right here that's why using the Philips screwdriver I will remove this fan and order the replacement of this fan because there is no way like for example if I will put some additional oil on it it will last maybe a couple of months and then we will return to the same problem. That's why it's reasonable just to order the replacement. Remove the fan. Do not lose all those screws. It's a bunch of them. Pretty small size. Five screws, which is attaching the fan to the heat sink itself. And this is the reason it's kind of hard to see like this. As you can see, you don't see any signs of dust. Everything seems to be perfect. But as soon as I, those five bolts was removed, here, here, no, actually it's four. And I expose the fan out from the heat sink, just like this. This is what we see right here. As you can see, everything is clogged with dust. The fan was constantly overheating and right now it sounds like this. So special using special solution or just a regular water, a little bit mixed with is April, rinse the fan, remove all dust, as you can see very very dusty, remove all dust, <laughs> very very dusty, everything is completely clogged and let's replace order the replacement fan from here it's not that easy to clean all this old thermal compound heat sink is already totally clean as you can see it was flushed dried there is no signs of dust totally clean the new fan is already ordered so take approximately from three to five 14 days to arrive and before we will assemble everything back on um, it takes time to clean the compound. So also is April based wipes and as you can see while I'm trying to clean there is no luck. No luck at all. And the same on CPU. In my opinion the best way is to remove CPU from the motherboard and uh, to clean all this you will need to use such type of plastic Because if you will try to use metal, you can scratch the heat sink and the heat not gonna be transferred that much efficiently between the heat sink and CPU. That's why take your time on this step, you have to remove all old thermal compound without being damaging the heat sink assembly, without being scratching it. And the same with CPU. Take your time on this step. Definitely it will take you some time to clean 
the CPU and the heatsink from the old compound. Uh, isopril based wipes are ineffective because this thermal compound is a way to dry. That's why I will recommend to use isopril based wipes together with um, the two speak. You doing like this, making it a little bit wet, and then little by little scraping the compound out, just like this, as you can see. Little by little, just take your time and be, be very careful because since thermal compound is so dry, you can damage the CPU. You can scrap the thermal to compound together with the chip itself, small particles of the chip. And for the heat sink, I will uh, recommend a tool, something like that. You just wrap it around into the April based wipe and scraping it like this. Don't do it just like that because you can make deep scratches. If you will make some light scratches which are not deep, it's good because the heat sink will have proper contact with CPU. Took me a while, almost a minute already. The score i5 CPU is almost clean. Just take your time on this step. Here there is some light scratches, but they are not deep, which is good, because it's nearly impossible to clean it like that without being leaving at least light scratches. Just make sure that the scratches are not deep, because as I mentioned before, if they will be deep, the heat transfer between heat sink and CPU will be very inefficient. But it's very important to remove the previous old burnt thermal compound because if you will apply the new one on top without being removing the old one you will have overheating issues on your laptop as well